So you see the assessment from the Logan Group for the domestic violence thing? I, I, yeah, I have okay. it open right now. Okay. Just like with the mental health assessment, how I had to determine if this was appropriate or not, that's what I'm going to have to do with this. Okay, that's fine, but just know that I've done it. And then I have my um, child parenting class on Saturday at 10.30 a.m. I've already paid for it. Is it a one-day one thing? Uh, I don't know. We're going to start with a four-hour class and then move from there. Okay. And what's the name of the agency? Uh, I'll give you the name of the woman. I'll, I'll email it to Kelly Pruitt. I don't have it right on me. Okay. All I'll email right. it to Kelly. I'll email her all the stuff on Saturday. And then okay. I've, been, I've been seeing a counselor. Okay. And uh, where at? His name is Lance Rayow, uh, Family Health. It's in Stewart, Florida. I've been seeing him for about, I don't know, about a month. Lance Rayo. Yes. And I did sign that form for him to send to you, Kelly, when I went and saw him a couple days ago. Thank you. Yep. No, I'm not at the moment. Okay. I have been in the past. Here's another question that I have. Why did everyone say that I had absolutely no psychiatric history whatsoever when in the report it clearly stated that I was uh, diagnosed with PTSD and under psychiatric care for like eight years and would see them all the time? Like, why did you deliberately suppress my psychiatric history on intake? And then went ahead with, she's a delusional, paranoid, schizophrenic, knowing that that wasn't the truth. You knew that never been a diagnosis. Why would you do that? Is this because I told the DA that I was going to go take Eden to the police to tell everything that was going on that was terrible? And when I got to pick her up, the DA was absolutely refusing to release Eden, DA Ron O'Brien, and saying to the school officers, Baker actor, instead of having her go to the cops and say anything, and I heard him saying it, and I have the message about that. Are they the ones that told you to suppress it? Suppress my medical stuff? I mean, something happened because on, because, on, because on the Delaware Sheriff's County's office, his report says we can't bake a actor, we can't put her in jail, there's no legal reason to keep Eden. I turn around two hours later, you guys are saying she's crazy, we're taking the kid. So how can you and the sheriff have such a different viewpoint of me in only two hours? It makes no sense. And why would you not put on there things that I had told you regarding my medication and being on Klonopin? Because I told everyone that. Yeah. I unfortunately was not part of any decision that Okay, well they're the part that's gonna get sued. Okay? You know I hired a new lawyer, right? Uh, I didn't know that. Okay, I hired a new lawyer and here's the thing, he's a personal injury attorney. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So anyways now, as far as this like psych evaluation, you're saying I can't get it from Dr. Sahadio because he's a psychiatrist? Okay, well then Lance is a psychologist, so why do, so I'll get it from him. From Dr. You said Dr. Waits? No, Dr. Sahadio. You said I can't get a psych eval from him because he's a psychiatrist and I need to go see a psychologist. So, okay, so Mr. Rayo is a psychologist. So I'll just get the mental eval from him then. Or the psych eval from him. My, my, before my psych evals came from psychiatrists. Like, aren't they the ones that, like, give you medication? Like, aren't they the ones that give you medication and, like, give you a case plan? So I don't even understand why you say that my psyche valve can't come from a shrink. I'm not saying that. Dr. Sahadio's office told us that, they, that he is not qualified because... No, he, they never said that to you because I did my psyche valve with him eight years ago and was sent by my probation officer. There is no way that they said he was not qualified to give a psyche valve. He runs St. Mary's Psych ward you're lying he would not dr sahadio's nurses would never say that dr sahadio is not equipped to give a psyche valve he gives psyche valves every day of his life that's a lie kelly stop lying i have you on video kelly i'm gonna go down to dr sahadio's and find out who you talk to
Okay, so I have the psych. Okay, so the psycho. So the psychological evaluation. Lance is a psychologist, so I guess I'll be able to get it from him then, right? Fine. Why don't you go ahead and do that? He has he has everything signed as far as the medical, and he can talk to you at will. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Because I need to get that taken care of. Because I need to speak to my daughter. Because I'm extremely concerned about her. Yes. Yes. And I sent Kelly a copy of my lease in March. I have the email. I also sent her proof that I was working in March. So why did you say that I hadn't given you a lease on the report? No, I'm saying that you did give us. Yeah, I know, but on the report it said that I did it and I had insufficient progress. When I had shown you in March that I had a lease, I had shown you in March that I had a job. And as a matter of fact, I just got a second job as a personal assistant. Yeah. Okay. We never got proof of employment. Okay, no, I did send you proof of employment because I sent you my contract from Rachel's. I have the email. I work two jobs now. I work at Rachel's and I look for, I work for 102 degrees as a personal as a personal assistant. It's a marketing company. 102 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, it's a marketing company. What? Yeah, I have my own home. I have my own job. I have two jobs. I'm doing the counseling. I'm doing the parenting classes this weekend. I've done the domestic violence assessment. You know, I've, I've done everything on the sheet. Um, would you mind verifying, I want to make sure I have the right address because two things that I've mailed to you have been returned. Well, here's the deal is that they, I get these like a uh, orange things in the mailbox right that I have to go like pick up the postage and I got it I got it late so it's 3599 South Federal Highway Unit H okay. Delray Beach I mean Boynton Beach Florida 33435 okay. Okay. so what else as far as what else do I need to do Okay, well, Kelly needs to get back to me about whether Mr. Rayo, you know, I'm waiting on Kelly on that one. Okay, I'll get back with you, Ms. Glazer. Okay. And I do need answers as to why you deliberately suppressed my PTSD and as to why you took Eden under pretense that I was crazy and the Delaware Sheriff's Office said that I wasn't, okay? And I need to know if the District Attorney Ron O'Brien instructed you to do that, like he instructed the school officers to not let me leave with Eden to go to the police to tell them what was going on, okay? You know, when the District Attorney is preventing me to go to the police with my daughter and instead taking her in the system, okay, that's when we have a lot of problems. And I have the evidence and I have messages that's when it all gets really bad. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you, had, have you had contact with Eden? I'm not allowed. I got the mental eval, and the judge said after the mental eval that I'd be able to talk to her. Kelly took two and a half months to get back to me on the mental eval because she was pissed off because it was good. Okay? And she said that she had called the office and everything, and she had it, and she lied about that. Finally, after two and a half months, she gets it because I guess I really like threw off the whole schizo thing. You know what I mean? Like it really messed up like their plan. All right. And so now, like she's having a real problem finding the place that I can go get the psych evaluation, which isn't a surprise to me. Once again, I'm looking at it as a sabotage. I mean, family services has done everything in their power to absolutely sabotage my case. Okay. That's in black and white on the files. Yeah, Sherry, what are you still doing on my case when you're supposed to be fired? I'm supposed to be fired? Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to be on my case. I fired Brunella and I fired you. you. You haven't even called me. You haven't texted me. The last time I talked to you, you were fired, and I haven't heard or seen a text from you in months. So what are you doing there? Are you talking to me? Sherry. No, I'm talking to Sherry. My guardian ad litem. Didn't you say Sherry, my guardian ad litem, was there? Yeah. What are you doing there? You haven't talked to me in months. You're supposed to be fired. Okay. 
What are you doing there? The court is the one that appointed me to your case. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, that's okay because I have, I have quite a case for Franklin County, trust me. <laughs> nice files, guys. Maybe, <laughs> I know you read them. That's why you wouldn't give them to me. Anyways, anything else? If I were you, I would make sure that Eden's case is transferred to Florida or you're going to be dealing with lawsuits from me until the day that Ohio no longer tarries. Do you understand? You have a good day and you remember what I said and I'm not joking.